welcome in Belgrade also in the name of the Belgrade office. Um, Belgrade is the former uh, capital of uh, socialist Yugoslavia and um, maybe also from uh, future socialist Yugoslavia. We don't know, we are working on it. We asked ourselves in our small group what is left feminism for us first. On one hand, how to include uh, in feminist theory and practice all social issues and struggles, for example, around uh, pension, around uh, against privatization of healthcare, against privatization of education, against commodification of nature, against land grabbing, water grabbing. The ecofeminism future, I think, is the only possible future because we need to, to join these uh, two big problems. That, mean, that means the uh, ecological crisis uh, and also the uh, feminist issues. He parlat ja moltes vegades en públic, però us asseguro que avui aquesta plaça impressiona molt. Com a dona, com a filla, com a mare, com a companya, com a amiga, amb tota la humilitat del món, però amb tota la determinació, perquè sóc molt conscient del que està en joc el 24 de maig, us dic que jo vull ser la propera alcaldessa de Barcelona. Well, the feminist class politics basically to me consists of feminists uh, like trying to resolve this tension between you know the class division and the gender division because if not well yeah we have to remember that even at the high at the highest classes women are being persecuted just for being women like uh, for example gender-based violence is basically everywhere we cannot say that it's only the, the issue of the lower classes, because it's not. Um, feminist class politics for me means um, restructuring the field of struggle mainly and getting over these stupid oppositions between class politics on one hand and identity politics on the other, on labor struggles on one hand and anti-racism on the other because they really, this, these false oppositions, they weaken us. And so this is really important to get over this and find common grounds for struggle. And there's another thing that I find really important or that feminist class politics means for me that is putting the weakest in the center of our politics. So like starting from their needs and their perspectives and, and making people hurt that are the weakest in our society.
I stop seeking revenge on my own body. Stop blaming it for every bad thing that ever happened to me. Stop internalizing fat phobia. Stop letting other people's expectations of what a woman's body should look like hold me back. And I guess I should apologize or try and make myself smaller, but it's just that I love myself too much to give a fuck. I think it is important um, to bring back um, class in feminism, but at the same time um, to make feminism really intersectional. So um, this new feminist intersectional class politics um, must be about the everyday lives of working class, marginalized and precarious women and queer people. We are building that concept, and for me, will be the ones who uh, share the vision of the whole system and the struggle for the freedom for the whole people and nature. I think we should uh, try to find different ways to uh, assert care work. Uh, uh, and, you know, all that comes with it uh, in our organizations, but also in our society. That is the most important task before us. All these studies show uh, terrible effects of uh, disregard of care work uh, by our social systems and by our, our, our politicians. For me, the most important message was also that uh, gender inequality is uh, not only about like women in parliament, women in business, women on labor market even, but it basically uh, and from the very beginning about minimum wage, about the subsistence minimum, which is in the law, uh, because that's what defines, uh, because of structural inequality, that's what defines uh, remuneration women get for their productive, so-called productive and reproductive labor. I think it's very, very important to um, uh, have in mind that all inequalities and social discriminations always are uh, expressed in a very, very intersectional way. In, uh, intersectionality is not, uh, you know, an abstract, an abstract word. A uh, word is actually uh, what we ex we experience every day, and uh, especially in times of austerity. Uh, so I believe that uh, it's not a moment to search or create new dichotomies. For me, it's a concept that uh, is putting together, um, um, again, experiences of uh, marginalized and oppressed uh, into very important theoretical but also strategical struggles that we can use in political organizing. And uh, to add, it's also politics that doesn't include, exclude feminists who are poor, feminists on the margin, queer people, trans people, intersex people, asexual people, uh, and the politics that uh, creates a very powerful we. She said already all. Oh, it's including everybody. I think we need to have so much more communication because a lot of us are working on the same thing. I mean, we're struggling with abortion rights in America, but also Ireland, also Argentina, you know, all over Poland, all over the world. Um, and we need to share strategies. Um, you know, patriarchy has a lot in common country to country. I 
think it would be uh, uh, substantially more liberating in the sense that uh, patriarchy and uh, patriarchal structures are uh, repressive uh, to all people. It is not something, you know, traditional Marxism used to say that uh, the working class can liberate all the classes. <laughs> I think that, uh, yeah, through feminist struggles, uh, you know, everyone can be liberated and, uh, you know, open new possibilities of, uh, of, of social existence, let's say. Yeah. Kobiety całego świata, chodźmy razem. Babae sa buong mundo magkaisa. Gineke solo tu kosmo enocite. Ženšine vsevo mira objedinjajtis. Sutike ma komijak. Žene svih zemalja ujedinite se. Žene svih zemalja ujedinite se. Die Zukunft ist transfeministisch und socialistisch. Mujeres, alcémonos, porque somos la mitad del mundo y la mitad del cielo. I guess for us it was really a dream becoming true because we were dreaming of um, facilitating such an event and um, so we in the, it's still, it's a lot of work but we don't want to complain about it because we have the possibility to bring so many interesting, important people together and get them know. And uh, we hope that we help to build up structures which will support this change where we think that it's important.